Yikes, Sumzansi. Hey, hey, Mzansi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News, Mzansi. If you're new to my channel, you know here for the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and, of course, the bell, and you'll never miss an update. The South African Police Service has debunked theories surrounding a disturbing viral video of a policewoman and her son. Now, there was an uproar on social media after the video of the woman instructing her son on how to be intimate was leaked. Yikes. Now, there were suggestions that the woman was forced to be intimate with her son. A Facebook account suggested that the policewoman was forced to do so in order to save herself and her son. The post pleads with South Africans not to keep sending or posting the videos. The post read, guys, stop sending the video of my aunt with her son. Two random guys came into the house with guns and balaclavas, forcing them to do that. Please, please, please. Yege ni lento Information released by the South African Police Service debunks these theories allegedly. Now, according to information released by the police, the rape happened when the boy was just 10 years old, Mzansi, even worse. He is now 13 years old. A case of uh, sexual assault of a minor child with additional charges of creating and disturb and disturbing and distributing rather child pornographic material and sexual grooming of a child was opened last Friday. The woman was arrested on the same day and appeared in Marble Hall Magistrate Court on Monday. She was remanded in custody until next week Monday for next appearance. Limpopo Provincial Commissioner Lieutenant General Tembi Hadebe said soon after becoming aware of the video, the Family Violence Child Protection and Sexual Offences Unit conducted an immediate probe into the incident and removed the child to a place of safety. Apparently, Lieutenant Hadeba said, the actions of this woman are um, deplorable and deserve harsh co condemnation. Even though the suspect allegedly committed this crime when she was still a Public Service Act employee of the SAPS, she should have known better that such unbecoming behavior deserved harsh consequences. The SAPS do not have the space for such people who tarnish its image. Now, there you have it, Mzansi. I don't know if they're trying to, you know, make us feel that this is better, that it happened when he was just 10 years old and he's now 13, because this is worse. Apparently, this video has only just circulated, and as soon as uh, it was circulated, um, the Limpopo Provincial Com uh, Commissioner uh, General Hadeba says that uh, they probed into the matter and uh, immediately arrested the woman who appeared in court and now is remanded in custody. Uh, I hope that she gets her time and harsh time and punishment for this uh, hideous crime. There you have it, Tim Zansi. That's your update. Do leave your thoughts in the comment section. You know, I love to hear from you, but for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot, just the way you like it.